the heart of a cyanobacterial circadian clock oscillator, Chi-C changes its phosphorylation states throughout the day and night. As a result, the oscillator regulates ways of rhythmic gene expression that drive cyanobacterial physiology, such as photosynthesis, glycogen metabolism, and the timing of cell division. However, the Chi oscillator does not regulate gene expression directly. It acts through circadian output components that include the histidine kinase SAS-A, its cognate response regulator RPAA, and the phosphatase KIK-A. How do the output components interact with the oscillator components? The details of temporal output are less well understood than the specific interactions that make up the Chi oscillator itself, but the following steps summarize current knowledge. Throughout the day, SAS-A binds to Chi-C while Chi-C is in its phosphorylation mode. Upon binding to Chi-C, SAS-A autophosphorylates, and phosphorylated SAS-A transfers its phosphate group to RPAA. As Chi-C becomes more phosphorylated, more SAS-A binds to Chi-C and autophosphorylates. Then, more RPAA gets phosphorylated. At dusk, Chi-C is in a state that can be bound by a rare form of Chi-B. Chi-B transitions from inactive tetramers to an active monomer. Active Chi-B is structurally similar to a domain of SAS-A. As a result, active Chi-B competes with SAS-A for Chi-C binding. A current hypothesis is that Chi-B is able to knock SAS-A off of Chi-C. As the night progresses, active Chi-B sequesters Chi-A in an inactive form. More active Chi-B binds to Chi-C at B loops, and the bound Chi-B attracts kick a Once kick a binds to the Chi-B-C complex, it becomes a phosphatase that dephosphorylates RPAA. As time passes, RPAA is progressively dephosphorylated, so its phosphorylation level is very low by the end of the night. The interaction of SAS-A and KIK-A with the Chi oscillator creates a rhythm of RPAA phosphorylation that peaks at dusk. RPAA is a transcription factor. The phosphorylated form binds to the promoter of class 1 genes and activates class 1 gene transcription. The non-phosphorylated form of RPAA cannot bind to the promoter of the class 1 gene. Thus, no transcription occurs when RPAA is not phosphorylated. The oscillation of phosphorylated RPAA, low at dawn and high at dusk, creates rhythmic expression of class 1 genes that peak at dusk. On the other hand, phosphorylated RPAA seems to repress class 2 gene transcription, and non-phosphorylated RPAA is associated with class II gene activation. Therefore, the same rhythm of RPAA phosphorylation regulates the rhythmic expression of class II genes that have peaks at dawn and troughs at dusk. Thus, circadian output of oscillating class I and class II gene expression is regulated by the rhythm of RPAA phosphorylation. The circadian output components SAS-A, KIK-A, and RPAA connect the Chi oscillator to gene expression output, relaying the timing information from the circadian oscillator to gene expression that controls rhythmic biological phenomena within a single-cell cyanobacterium. <laughs>